Billy Luna. Jealousy is worse than cancer. I don't give a fuck about them. Exactly. They want to be you. But just like Kendrick Lamar said to Drake, they ain't like us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen. I mean, they talk about the same shit. The same people are tired of hearing about the fucking stories from 30 years ago. Yeah. You got nothing to talk. They can't go nowhere. They can't. You think they go to Wildwood? No. Oh, you think, come on. Like, 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 what's his name? The fuck's that guy? Chicklets. Yeah. Dumb. Like he, he went back. Yeah, he went back. He was outside Times Square for three seconds. He can't go in the Bronx. He no. can't right. go to Rayos and eat. He can't go to Rayos and eat. Yeah. Yeah. Go if you if they could go anywhere, go to, go to, go to yes. Arthur Avenue. Go eat. Yeah, go, go exactly. Sure. I mean, they can't go. I guess yeah. they don't see what's going on that we do podcasts in restaurants, businesses. We go everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> we just don't say it. We do it. You, you see, yeah. it, they ain't fake. We're everywhere and they're never here. It's yeah. the truth. Yeah. Exactly. And they want to see that's the thing, but they won't stop talking about you because they want to be you. They exactly. desperately want to be because, you know, deep down the mentality, the rap mentality, you know, they hate themselves. You know that they would have. And back in the day, think of how they would have regarded themselves. They hate themselves. They want to be like you because, you know, you're different. You're a stand up guy. They're not. I got my Gigi with me. Oh, look at Pooch yes. Potch. Is that an Ewok? No, it's an Ewok. What's an Ewok? From Star Wars. From Star Wars. Those little creatures. No, this is <laughs> shit so Ah, nice. Them fucking idiots. Listen, they can talk all the shit they want. They're they're dying to be us. That's what kills. Oh them. yeah, exactly. They're looking in the mirror. They know what they are. They know the trash. The family hates them. Everybody right. hates them. Mm -hmm. They hate themselves. They. That's the weird thing. Like you know that. Like you know they can talk a big game and they can say this and they can say that. Funny but they hate themselves. Jealousy is worse than cancer. I don't give a fuck about them. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you. This is another Billy Luna mobile video. I'm on the road once again, driving down the beautiful Pacific Coast Highway. Again, I'm going totally off the top of my dome. And I have had quite a few cocktails after an incredible dinner on the beach. But whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not personally driving my car, okay? I have an absolutely exquisitely beautiful female chauffeur piloting my whip this evening. And I'm doing, I'm doing this off the top of the dome. And I'm doing it in one take. You dig? Mistakes and all. Bam. Let's go. I'm going to talk about a video that Dom Sakali, a.k.a. Chicklets, posted yesterday. Dom is a self-described former Bonanno family capo. Joe Merlino, Snuff, and Tommy Stiggs dubbed Dom Chicklets, a name which Dom says that he actually likes. The video that Dom dropped yesterday that I want to talk about is titled, ready for this? Hold on to your hat. Joey Merlino slash FBI slash federal prosecutor slash Yvonne Marquez Rossetti Galini slash con artist slash scammer. Damn, Dom, that is a mouthful. Holy, what? That, that is an insane title. It's very long. Okay. What I notice about this title is that the first two words of the title are Joey Merlino. That's what got my attention. That's probably why the YouTube algorithm put it, put it in front of me. I have a few problems with the title of this video because it is clickbait. Although Joey Merlino's name is the first thing in the title, Dom only talks about Joey Merlino for less than two minutes of the 35-minute video. That's called clickbait. The video hardly addresses Joey Merlino at all. Basically, Dom criticizes Joe for only less than two minutes. The rest of the video is Dom whining about how he got scammed by a woman. Less than two minutes of Joey Merlino, then 33 minutes or so of 34 minutes of Dom's whining. Dom criticizes Joey for, quote, coming out and being all about exposing rats and then selling products and getting business ventures going. Dom says that Joey has, quote, set false pretenses, or in Dom's words, Set, you said false. You said false pretenses, Joey Molino. 
Joey stated that his Dom says that Joey started his channel to expose rats. And now Dom alleges that Joey uses his channel as a quote marketing ploy or in, or in Dom's words, a marketing ploy for selling Joey's cigars, merch, etc. Joey, I think is, um, set false pretenses coming out on the YouTube circuit. He says he's going to expose all the rats. Cool. But now it seems like more of a marketing ploy where he's avid, he's cross, um, launching everything from cigars to all his uh, memorabilia to merchandise. So, um, Dom, in the words of the skinny one, Joe Merlino, jealousy is worse than cancer. And Dom, get ready because Joe Merlino and his brand are about to launch into the stratosphere. Joey and Snuff are here in Cali right now. They will be taking over the Golden State soon. So, Dom, let go of this petty jealousy or it will crush you, brother, because Joey is going worldwide. I'm very stoked that I will personally be meeting Joey, Snuff, and the crew. Dom, who, first of all, Dom, who are you to judge a man for starting a business and making money to feed his family? Who the F are you to judge, Dom? After all, Dom, you beat your viewers' heads in. This is such this is such hypocrisy. You beat your viewers' heads in with incessant pitches for your vodka. And dude, you are riding Joey's coattails. The guy that you are disparaging you actively, you're actually riding his coattails. And that's how you're getting clicks. That's how you're building your channel. And you're criticizing him at the same time. Really hypocritical, bro. Dom basically comes on. Dom basically comes on and cries and whines about getting scammed by a woman. Dom, this is giving uh, total hypocrisy. Dom says that he wants justice. In his words, I want just. I want justice, dude. Do you hear yourself? You sound like a whiny little hypocrite. Just stop. You're damaging your brand. Think about it for a second, Dom. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, what's your brand? Why do review? Why do? Why do your viewers watch you, Dom? Did you ever think that this could be karma? Did you ever burn anybody, Dom? Did you ever deceive or hurt anybody in your former life? Come on, man, Dom. You're mad that the feds are not going to quote unquote act. The feds are not going to save you because the woman who scammed you is a cooperating witness. Sounds like what rats around comes around get it dom dude you're in your feelings with this man up you're like i'm a victim help me you asked your viewers to call the feds you actually asked your viewers to call the feds to motivate the feds to save you from a woman who scammed you and of course this is all under the clickbait title of the name joey merlino the way you ride joe's coattails I think you owe Joe a check. At minimum, you should shout out and link his Patreon channel. Not that Joe would want to have anything to do with you at all. I'm sure Joe wouldn't even want that. Dom. But what you shouldn't do is talk shit. I mean, you're talking shit on a man whose coattails you are currently riding. Also, Dom, bitching about the woman who scammed you is not interesting to your quote unquote fans. It's really boring, Dom. Everyone tuned in because Joey Merlino is, is the first two words of the title. Then we get to hear a couple of minutes of hypocritical criticism of Joey, then 34 minutes of a grown man whining. No one wants to watch that. You use Joey's name as clickbait. That's the only reason people tuned in. Your fans don't want to hear a grown man bitch and complain. Your fans come to hear action-packed stories of your days as a mad dog gangster. They don't want to hear st like st whining stories of a middle-aged rat complaining about getting scammed by a woman. Does that sound like exciting content to you? Your YouTube channel is a mob channel, Dom. Get it? Action-packed mafia stories. That what you're doing here is effing boring. In fact, when I thought about a video about this topic, I could not, I, I, want, I saw the video and I saw what was going on with the clickbait. I wanted to make a video about it. I couldn't even like 
bring myself to watch the video because you talked about Joe, criticized him for two minutes, and then you switched gears to this other thing. It was so freaking boring, and I wanted to make sure that that was the case, that you never mentioned Joe again. So I actually, what I had to do, I couldn't watch the video. It's so boring. I can't see a middle-aged former mad dog gangster whining. So I took your transcript, I dropped it into Google Docs, and I did a search for Joe, which confirmed that, yes, in fact, even though the first two words of the title are Joey Merlino, you just talk about him for two minutes. It's clickbait. So I couldn't, but I couldn't watch the video because it's so damn boring. That's the thing with a lot of this stuff, man. This stuff is boring. And it's, you got to be more compelling, bro. You know, I know, Dom, listen, bro. I think that among the Radiverse, that's what I call MobTube, the Radiverse or the Dorkiverse, not, but I call you, you're part of the Radiverse. Dom, you seem to be a little smarter than the rest, okay? You seem to be pretty intelligent. You know, you were also, you were a pretty legit figure in the life before you became a cowardly rat. Well, I mean, and I will say, honestly, one thing about you, Dom, that I think is, I will give you a little bit, I'll give you some credit on this. I mean, you were a rat. However, you freely admit it. You say, I was a coward. I took the coward way out. I was a rat. Unlike people like Michael Franzese, who, you know, for some bizarre reason, maintains, you know, I was not a rat. I didn't do it. Yeah, Michael's a rat. It's so it's so weird. We live in such a tr post truth era where you know, it, just admit you're a rat. The good news about rats admitting they're rats is that the general public doesn't seem to care. You know, rats seem to excel in society because there's so many of them. I mean, look at Takashi Six Nine. So anyway, I mean, I give you a little credit, Don, because you admit I was a coward. I took the cowardly way out. I'm a rat. And, you know, I, I feel like that you are a little bit more intelligent than the rest of these rats, you know, but bro, just come on, man. Nobody wants to hear this. Get back to your, you know, mad dog gangster stories from your former life. That's what people are tuning in for. Anyway, everybody, listen, let me know. Let me know what you all think in the comments about this whole situation. And I'm coming out next week with some a really great video. Um, I'm going down to meet Joey and Snuff and the crew, and a lot of big things are coming out of it. So check out their stuff. Get over to their Patreon. You know, check out my man Tommy Stiggs. And uh, check, in, check with me. My next video is going to be real big time. You're going to dig it. It's going to go through the roof. So let me, all, let me know what you all think of the comments about this. Billy Luna. Please subscribe to the Billy Luna channel and like the video. Thank you.